George asks, are there any long-term side effect risks for CLL patients? That's a great question, George. Um, it really would depend on the therapy being instituted. And when in the chemo immunotherapy era um, for CLL patients, um, we had a very different um, perspective of what short-term and, and long-term side effects were and are uh, for those patients who have been treated with chemoimmunotherapy. For, for patients treated with targeted therapies and immunotherapy combinations today, um, there tends to be fewer serious long-term side effects. Um, when looking at the various drug classes, for example, BTK inhibitors, um, there is a risk of atrial fibrillation that remains constant throughout the course of therapy. And if a patient is on therapy for one year or, or 10 years, they, they can um, develop that particular side effect. Um, high blood pressure uh, can be significant with uh, BTK inhibitors as well. And, um, and that risk also tends to be stable. In terms of infection risk, um, there is relative immunosuppression with all CLL therapeutics. And so um, our concern uh, more recently has been focused on COVID infection. Um, serious bacterial and viral infections tend to be less frequent. Um, we don't institute prophylaxis for those infections because they, they tend to be um, so few and far between in the patients that, that we've treated. 